here we are at the final course of the first year, Regional Integration Project. And this course actually combines all the different material that you've been learning in the first year. We've set up this course for you to experience uh, not only the things you like to do, maybe you like natural sciences, you like social sciences. So then you also experience the other sciences, which we think is extremely important if you want to be a change agent in sustainability. This morning I woke up at 6 to go to the beach with students and we mapped um, the plastic debris on the beach by picking up all the items and by classifying it. Yesterday I did something completely different because we did a survey with tourists and we asked them about their willingness to have more sustainable behavior. We also do in-depth interviews with important stakeholders related to the sustainability targets of the island. Each day one of the students will guide the other student in his fieldwork. You will not only learn about uh, your topic, but also about leadership. We've set up a fieldwork combining all these different sustainability elements. We have to put the stick, and so we need to know the elevation of certain point. And then on the basis of that, the other person with the stick just goes. On that, so we took take a look at, uh, or we took a look at the uh, uh, succession rate of uh, of species of plant species uh, on the dunes uh, at the horse, a very dynamic uh, area. Everybody did a small part, so. Uh, for instance, one group did measure the elevation of the dunes where the plots were. So with a big tripod and altimeter, we uh, measured uh, the, the elevation of uh, certain plots. And the others looked at the vegetation cover of specific plots. They were just like watching and discussing with each other uh, which plant species they saw and at their particular small area. Like looking at biodiversity and uh, the abundance of different species in these 4x4 models of spot. And yeah, it's the south of the tip of the of the dunes. Hippopai Ramon, Ramonis. Hippopai Ramonis. That's a shrub. The shrub? That's a shrub. So we were really looking at plant species, so really at nature itself. And the rest was looking at like uh, solar panels and plastic, so that still all man-made, and this is a very dynamic area. When we were at the horse, my group, uh, that was the most windiest day. So like the rest of the days of the week, there was less wind, so that made it for them easier to collect measurements on the dunes. <laughs> That day that we had the specific June vegetation topic, maybe then we were influenced by the wind because the measurements were a bit more inaccurate than with less wind. Of course, it's all it was all the first time for us to do real field work, so you have a lot of difficulties, a lot of mistakes that you make as a beginner. I think the process went quite well. My topic subject is the plastic debris. I was interested in more of a, a practical research on Tesla. I will give you plastic bags, bags, garbage bags, and you will start with six. You will first um, uh, make these, these. The research was based on collecting data from the beaches. Each team there was assigned a big plot of 600 meters, 
and then we had to subdivide it into six smaller plots of 100 by at least 50 meters. On a sunny day, we we could uh, any any plastic team could take and collect any all the data like properly. But on a windy day, I imagine we didn't have a windy day. But I imagine and I heard that uh, they couldn't finish all their plots and they had to come back. everything, wood, glass, everything in different bags. We took it home in our houses and there we separated uh, every everything based on the material. It is not the tissue itself, it's not the tissue. Green part. Green part. That one is the yolk. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like, it's like copper soup, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's really textured. Yeah. What people really? do with yeah. that? The research was quite successful. Like uh, there was no space for uh, for any mistakes, you know, because we prepared very well beforehand. So yeah, we had uh, quite a big amount of debris and uh, information and data, which later, right now, we analyze. My topic is uh, solar energy for TESO. Other topic, they either do the social part or the uh, natural science part, but for our topic, we combined both. So we look at two parts. The first part is to look at the theoretical, theoretical uh, potential and also the actual potential of solar energy itself. Yeah. Um, the second part is to to look at uh, the willingness and other factors that might influence the, the the decision of people to adopt solar energy on Tesla. So in that entails us to carry out a survey in in the households on Tesla. We are divided into groups and each group would carry out the survey in different locations, different parts of TESO. We would uh, ask uh, questions which entails of about 20 something questions, which ask about more general and specific questions, for example, income or uh, their household composition. From the data that we have from TESO, we, uh, we uploaded it on on the same platform so that all the data is shared so we can have more more broad and more um, uh, comprehensive data from from TESO and after that we use SPSS to analyze the data it could have been improved by if we have more clear in, uh, instruction if each group knew how to do exactly how to fill in the, the data so that we have the same format of the data and we don't have to spend time on correcting them. My topic is um, touristic, tourist behavior. We um, tried to figure out what we were going to do research on and then we made research questions to, um, to make it more clear. We used the surveys at some places on TESOL, which we discussed in before, uh, on beforehand because we have more groups working together and we didn't want to do it on, on the same place. We made the surve surveys and um, according to some templates, we discussed with um, Bettina on Forum Beforehand where we were going because we were three groups at the same day. Uh, overall I think we did a good job because we had one complication that was that the survey was too long and there were some mistakes in it which we didn't know on beforehand so 
we uh, try to yeah to give the tourists a little bit of uh, time to fill it in and we didn't lie about the time until it took. Now we're going to we put everything in SPSS and then we go to analyze the data. Considering that even though we had that um, negative yeah, side of the surface, it, it went pretty okay. My topic is private sector, specifically um, supermarkets and their uh, strategies for plastic waste reduction. Uh, so that entailed us interviewing um, the managers or employees of supermarkets. My topic is way more uh, social science based. I always thought that social sciences are very interesting as it's not something that is set, uh, it's not something very specific. We um, elaborated the questions with the help of supervisors. From there, uh, we were given some groups were given um, a supermarket, specific supermarket to interview, while others had to find their own supermarket. It took about 25 minutes. Uh, after that, we went back home in our bungalow. We processed the data. We uh, did a transcript. So all of us had five to six minutes of uh, interview to transcribe uh, and after that we uploaded the data on the Google Drive for my group to see. Some questions were really specific and in our mind we thought that it was really clear. They sometimes misunderstood questions or they like interpreted it the, the wrong way. We kind of had to change some parts of our research questions and introduction of the research because of that, because we had a lot of data on that. We found that perceived obstacles do not hinder tourists in their willingness to reduce plastic pollution and that um, attitude the, is the important concept of theory of plant behavior to change someone's attitude into more pro-environmental behavior. In our research we found no correlation between income and willingness and as well we found that financial is one of the main reasons withholding people from adopting PV. Um, with an increase in salinity, so close, when you're closer to, to the sea, that there's a uh, decrease in the total cover of the vegetation. So in conclusion, there was an overall lack of uh, integrated sustainability strategies and policies. Overall, it was a pretty nice week. I think it was a good balance between study and um, yeah, just chill. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to say first.